So welcome to UV Physics Academy. So here uh, I'm going to discuss one small trick on this um, uh, Hadamard gate. Okay, so what is this uh, Hadamard gate? So if you take this uh, Hadamard operator, this is a 1 over root 2. So this is a 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So it transform computational basis to uh, diagonal basis. Okay, so that means if a Hadamard operates on 0, we will get linear combination of this uh, 1 over root 2 is uh, a 0 plus 1. And similarly, uh, if a Hadamard operator operates on 1, they will get 1 over root 2. This is a uh, ket 0 and minus ket 1. So these, uh, this is the diagonal basis. Of course, we can write this as a, a diagonal basis plus and this is the diagonal base uh, minus okay so first let me write what is the usual notation and after that i will come back to my trick so here uh, you can write this as a more general uh, way in more, in more general way the head mod operates on x remember this x is the one bit string because this is the single qubit operator okay so this is a one bit string this is equal to we can write one over root two we are having combination, linear combination 0 and 1. But here we have plus and here we have minus. So I think we can write like this, get 0 plus. Whenever it is 1, we have to get a negative sign. So minus 1 whole power x, 1. Minus 1 whole power x, get 1. This is one way of representation. Let us represent in more general uh, another way. So, for example, uh, if you have written like this, head mod operates on x. Remember, this is the one qubit string, okay? And uh, this we can write it as a linear combination. So now I am taking it as a one over root two a summation, summation over y. So here I am taking y. So that y may be zero or one. So that's why a y belongs to zero comma one. So here. Uh, you have plus, co plus 1 coefficient and here you have minus 1 coefficient. So this can be uh, given by minus 1 whole power x dot y. So I hope uh, you know what is this uh, x dot y. So where this uh, x dot y uh, is simply a binary dot product, binary product but modulus two, modulo 2. This is uh, mod 2. So for example, uh, this is of course here it is a single bit. For example, if you have a two qubits, one one and a one one. So this dot product is nothing but one into one one plus this one into one plus one. So which is equal to two, but you have to take modulo two and which is equal to zero. So like this we will get here. Okay, this is the more general uh, compact form of a uh, Hadamard operator for single qubit. For example, now if I have two qubits, that is uh, uh, h tends r2, okay, and uh, this time uh, this is the two qubits string and this is can be written as 1 over root 2 whole square a summation y belongs to, okay, and here also say minus 1 whole power x dot y, but this is a ket y, but this y is a two qubit string. And what about this y? This y belongs to uh, qubits means, uh, 2 qubit means it is a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If you think it is becoming a little bit lengthy, you can write like this also, 0, 1 and here 2. So that 2 indicates uh, here we have 2 qubits uh, strings. And okay, so similarly we can write for uh, n qubits also. So this is uh, n qubits and 1 over root 2 whole power n and this is the summation y belongs to. So we can't write this uh, n, n qubits here. Definitely we have to follow this one. Uh, 0, 1 I think and you can write or 10 sorry n also you can write that notation. So this is a minus 1 whole power x dot y and uh, ket y. So this is the a more general uh, representation.
that means head mod operator operating on n uh, qubit strings okay now here the point is uh, how to uh, say this uh, coefficients that means every time here you will get the coefficient is either plus 1 or minus 1 how to say this so there are two methods one is a tensor product for example uh, if you want to get the matrix of a h tensor 2 so simply you have to take a h head mod so tensor product so let us uh, make this a two times product so then you will understand what i am saying so 1 over root 2 whole square okay here i will write so this is a 1 over root 2 whole square and this is the head mod 1 1 1 uh, minus 1 a tensor head mod so i hope you know how to make this tensor product so each and every element of this matrix is uh, multiplied by multiplied by this h that means h into 1 so 1 over root 2 whole square so here you get a 1 into h again you will get a h and this is also h and this is the head mod and again this is a minus head mod so if you see the final matrix because here you have taken two dimension two dimension so here you will get finally four dimension 4d so this is uh, finally this uh, h tensor 2 that means uh, which is the operator operating on uh, two qubit strings which is uh, 1 by 2 and this is a 4 by 4 matrix here you will get h 1 1 1 minus 1 again 1 1 1 minus 1 and again this is a 1 1 1 minus 1 but this time it is a minus h minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 so i hope this is not visible okay let me take a little bit right so that's it so by using this matrix uh, we can say what are the coefficients that means what you will get whether plus one you will get or minus one you will get so for example if this is operating on a zero zero so i, I will uh, write i will take another place so finally here we got h tensor 2 matrix that is a uh, 1 by 2 so this is a 1 1 1 minus 1 or 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so what is the meaning of this <clears throat> so let us represent this in the uh, matrix form so this is uh, h tensor i mean uh, 2 so here we have basis state 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and here also we have 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 here you have to write ket vectors and uh, here you can write bra vectors right okay so now if you write this matrix element here so this is 1 1 1 1 what is the meaning of this so this h tensor 2 operates on 0 0 you will get linear combination of these states 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 like this and what about this so means we are talking about this coefficients here this one what about this coefficients so here you will get uh, this uh, 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and the next one 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and again here 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so like this we are getting a linear combination if it is a h tensor 3 so three times you have to multiply so here what i'm going to explain a small technique so directly how to write these uh, elements without making any uh, tensor product so so the trick is without finding a tensor product so how to say uh, what are the coefficients whether it is plus 1 or minus 1 something like that okay so for this uh, i'm using a small thing so if you observe carefully here uh, what happened if i take a single qubit this is a h a zero and one and this is a zero and one we know this matrix what is this matrix 
1, 1, 1, minus 1. So I am using this one as my uh, basic idea. So that means uh, whenever 0 is there, that means here uh, or here anywhere. So here I am taking whenever 0 is there, just write it as a, a plus plus. That means plus 1 plus 1. You will understand just listen and uh, whenever 1 is there we got here 1 minus 1 so whenever 1 is there I will write uh, plus minus and after that I will proceed for the uh, 2 times product 3 times product how I will proceed I, I will explain so my basic idea is this one only that means this is the head mode operator so here 0 is there that's why plus 1 plus 1 and here it is a 1 that's why plus minus that means 1 minus 1. Now I will explain my method uh, for this uh, H tensor 2. So listen carefully. So here I have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Here I can't write the decimal rotation. If you want here you can write decimal rotation. So here I am writing 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now <coughs> right. So please see this first one always, this side, that means uh, left, uh, this right side, this one. Always this is the first one. What you are having? Zero. If a zero is there, what you have to write? Plus, plus. I mean plus one, plus one. Next, what is the next one? Again zero. If you get zero, repeat all the things as it is. If you get one, take opposite whatever you have just take it opposite one more time so see the first one this is a zero so I am writing plus 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 one plus one next day again what zero if again zero means repeat the same thing as it is plus plus okay next come to this here what you are having first one one stands for plus minus right plus minus next zero if you have 0, repeat the same thing as it is. That means plus minus repeat. If you get 1, take opposite. Next, 0. So 0 plus plus. What is the next one? 1. Take opposite. Minus minus. Next, what you have? 1. Plus minus. Again, what you have? 1. So take opposite. Minus plus. If you, if you follow this, if you understand this method, we can write directly this matrix. That means uh, uh, plus means plus 1, minus is minus. Let me take a, a 3 by 3, that means, uh, sorry, uh, 3 by 3, uh, H tensor 3, let me explain. I, I will take another one. So here, I would like to find this. Because 3 times you have to uh, do the tensor product means it takes some time. So here I am writing a decimal notation only five and six and seven. So here without uh, doing any multiplication directly, we can follow this technique. And here zero zero, I have to write here uh, a zero uh, binary uh, string notation only uh, zero zero one zero one zero and zero one 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 zero zero. And this is 101, 110, 111. Now let us start the method. So one more time. Whenever 0 came, write it as plus plus. Whenever starting, starting, this is a starting. Whenever 1 is there, write plus minus. After that, every time you have to repeat the earlier one as it is. If you get 0, you have to take opposite signs if you get 1. Let us try. First one, 0, plus, 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 plus. Next, again 0, repeat the entire thing. Next again, 0, repeat the again entire thing. Okay? Please, please try yourself. Okay, uh, second, still not understanding, see this one. 1 is there, plus, minus. Next, 0, repeat. Next again 0 and repeat entire thing plus minus plus minus. Okay. Next 0 plus plus. Next 1 is there. If you get 1, 
whatever you have earlier take opposite opposite minus minus next again zero is there so take whatever you have again the same as it is next here one plus minus again one opposite again zero same zero same of one take opposite signs so zero plus plus and again zero plus plus again here you got one so take whatever you have just take opposite minus 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 next one zero one starting here is the starting here is the starting starting always you have to take that one plus minus and the next zero is there plus minus x one is there minus plus minus plus so here starting is a zero i request you please try plus plus next up one opposite minus minus next again my one opposite for entire these entire things take opposite minus minus plus plus and this one here you have last one is one that's why plus minus again one opposite again one opposite minus plus plus minus so that means a plus means a plus one and the minus one means minus means uh, there minus one so like this we can write the linear combination directly for example if you want to find this uh, uh, h power i mean h tensor 3 uh, operates on 101 for example so you want to know what is the value so that what you have to do is we have to uh, i mean multiply this tensor product three times and operate on that but with this technique we can write directly so this is a 5 so here 101 so please see this is the uh, combination so starting is plus uh, of course one more thing i'm sorry a 1 by root 2 whole cube and here also i'm sorry 1 by root 2 whole square so here also 1 by root 2 right so now uh, please find this uh, h operates on this 5 this is a 1 by root 2 whole cube so we have this linear combination i mean these are the signs plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus so yeah you know that so starting is a 0 next uh, 1 next 2 next minus 3 next minus 4 next plus 5 next minus 6 and the next again plus 7 like just like this okay so if it is useful please take it okay so thank you